Good morning. Today we um, are uh, observing Friday of the 26th week in ordinary time. It's first Friday. Our mass intentions today are for Father Leo Manella, the deceased, Grace Webb Shaw, the living, and also we're remembering Audrey Fritch Fritchman, who's celebrating her 96th birthday. This mass is being live streamed. The designs of his heart are from age to age to rescue their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A book, a reading from the book of the prophet Brock. During the Babylonian captivity, the exiles prayed, justice is with the Lord our God, and we today are flushed with shame. We men of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem, that we with our kings and rulers and priests and prophets and with our ancestors have sinned in the Lord's sight and disobeyed him. We have neither heeded the voice of the Lord our God nor follow the precepts which the Lord set before us. From the time the Lord led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until the present day, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God and only too ready to disregard his voice. And the evils and the curse and that the Lord has enjoined upon Moses, his servant, at the time he led our ancestors forth from the land of Egypt to give us the land flowing with milk and honey, cling to us even today. For we do not heed the voice of the Lord our God in all the words of the prophets whom he sent us, but each one of us went off after the devices of his own wicked heart, served other gods, and did evil in the sight of the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beast of the earth. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Father, your blessing. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, courtesan, 
Woe to you, Bethsaida, for if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, you will be exalted to heaven, you will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me, and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Whoever listens to me, whoever listens to you listens to me. And whoever rejects me, he also rejects you. Today, Jesus reminds us that uh, life is a journey. And he reminds us that he has come so that you may have life. But life abundantly by acknowledging God's will. Today, he reminds us that only forgiveness and be open in heart to recognize God's love can lead us to God. Today, Jesus is telling us that we have to be ready to see our weakness instead of being pride. Pride always blind everything. And with pride, you see everything. Oh, I'm right. With pride, oh, no, you cannot say anything. With pride, I am the one. So wherever I say, this is the truth. With pride, everything. But on the other side, with humility, gives us courage to see and embrace our weaknesses. With humility, we can see what God wants us in our lives. Just recently, when I was in, in Tanzania, we had our family meeting. And we started going through to discuss as the family. And we asked our sister because last time we asked her to go and ask for forgiveness to our mom. And she said, Yes, I will go and talk with her. And we say, we are here. Why don't you go in front of us and say, Mom, I am sorry. She said, no, I will find my own time. We say, okay. Because you are a grown-up person, okay. <laughs> you know what she did? She didn't do it. And then she left. So when we met this time, and then if someone say, ah, our sister, she didn't say anything to her mom or what. But still we see there is a tension. And we ask her. And she said, oh yes, I will, I will find a time. I will find time. She is not ready. She is not ready to ask to say for forgiveness. Jesus today is telling us that uh, it's good for the people of Ty and Sidon who were ready after seeing that they did wrong. They were ready to change their way of life. From the king to the last one, the child, they wear those sackcloth asking for forgiveness. But for you, Capernaum, because of you are strong and hot-hearted, you will not experience the love of God because of your pride. Jesus today is talking in a very strong way. But that's not that uh, he's trying to condemn them. No, Jesus loves them. And he wants us to recognize that we are loved by Jesus. That we are loved because he wants us to change our hearts. He wants us to humble ourselves and acknowledge our weaknesses. Because wherever we say, no, I don't want to change, we are not uh, making any difference. 
and we remain the way we are. But by saying yes and ready to change and ask for God's love and mercy, that's where we can see the power of love, the power of the mercy, and the power that God comes and reveals in our lives. Just imagine when you are sitting together with your husband or your wife, and then when you see someone say, honey, I'm sorry, there is something inside you say, yes, yeah, I'm ready. Let us move forward. But when you hear, I don't care. Uh, who are you? Eh? I'm the boss here. Hmm? I'm the husband here in this house. Those kind of words will not help us and instead will not bring us to the openness and be ready to recognize that we are brothers and sisters. And when we open up ourselves and acknowledge our weaknesses, God always imparts his love to all of us. Let us be like the people of Sidon and Ty, who were ready to change their heart. Because that holy moment transformed completely their lives. We need those holy moments in our lives, even today. We need those holy moments for us to come closer to Jesus. We need those holy moments to embrace the peace that God has given us. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus. We thank you for this wonderful day. And we continue to accompany those people who are meeting at the synod so that God, you may continue to enlighten them to discuss everything what is for the well-being of the church and the well-being of the whole world. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we each heed the voice of the Lord in our lives and be guided by his desires for our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord calls each of us to share his word with others. Let us trust we are empowered by the Holy Spirit to go forth and share the good news. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our Ascension family to grow as a family as we celebrate the Mass together, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those participating in the Synod on syn Synodality to allow the Holy Spirit to guide their conversations and discernment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of May McGowan Jaworski, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to hear as Christ hears, see as Christ sees, and love as God loves, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, we pray this prayer for Synod. We stand before Holy Spirit as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you who are at work in every pleasant time in the communion of the Father and the Son forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will come our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who, because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and ever where to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we are claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and love, heaven and earth are your, your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Reverend Leo Manalo, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. 
We remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died on our mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. You may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, O peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. With your spirit, let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. And we ask if you're watching us live stream, please put a note in the chat box. Please understand the prayer of the thing. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Thus says the Lord, let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Gary, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. It's very difficult for someone to say, I know everything. We are sinners. And that's why Jesus is trying to remind us to see and to embrace it. But at the same time, he has put us the situation for us to see him as someone who can lead us to his father. When we listen to him, we listen also to his father. And when we follow him, we follow his father. So today he is telling us to listen one another, to love one another. And that's why yesterday he commissioned those 72, two by two. Why two by two? Just being yourselves, you cannot uh, see the, the path to Jesus. We need to support each other. And we need even to help to move forward each other. So even the husband and wife, remember, you have to listen to each other. I'm sorry. Thank you. Please. Those are the things we lead us to Jesus. Because if you are pride of yourselves, that will not help at all. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be.